Have you ever driven over a bridge and heard a loud clunk as your tires passed over a strange looking metal grate? It's usually right at the start or middle of the bridge, and if you're not expecting it, it might even startle you. What you just drove over is called an expansion joint, and while it might not seem like much, it plays a critical role in keeping that bridge safe, functional, and standing tall. Today, we're diving into why these metal joints exist, what they actually do, and why they're absolutely essential for every modern bridge. Because believe it or not, without them, our infrastructure would be in big trouble. And we're unpacking it all, right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with a surprising fact. Bridges move. Now, we're not talking about bridges walking off like giant metal robots, but they expand, contract, bend, and flex every day, all the time. This movement is caused by a few different factors, but the biggest one, it is because of the temperature. Just like the metal lid on a jar might loosen up after running under hot water, or how sidewalks crack because of shifting ground, bridges are constantly responding to the environment. When it's hot outside, the materials that make up the bridge, steel, concrete, asphalt, expand. When it's cold, they shrink back down. And in climates with big seasonal swings, the difference between a summer day and a winter night can cause several inches of movement. Imagine a 500-foot long bridge made of steel on a hot summer day, it might grow by as much as three to four inches. Doesn't sound like a lot? Now think about that same expansion happening without anywhere for the bridge to give. That pressure would have nowhere to go. Over time, this could lead to warping, cracking, or even structural failure. This is where metal expansion joints come in. They're not just random metal pieces bolted onto a bridge. They're carefully engineered components that let the bridge breathe. When the bridge expands, the joint compresses. When the bridge contracts, the joint stretches back out. They're designed to allow motion without tearing the whole system apart. But you may ask, why metal? Actually, that's a great question. Expansion joints are often made of steel or composite metals because they can handle high stress, resist corrosion, and most importantly, they're flexible but strong. These materials can absorb a huge range of motion while still providing a stable driving surface. Plus, metal is durable enough to withstand thousands of vehicles driving over it every day, in every kind of weather. Imagine building a bridge with no expansion joints at all. It might seem fine for a few months or even a year, but eventually the stress from thermal expansion and contraction would start to show. You'd start seeing cracks in the concrete, maybe bulging where the bridge pushes against its supports. Over time, the surface could buckle. In extreme cases, parts of the bridge could begin to lift or separate entirely. And once water gets into those cracks, now you've got a whole new set of problems. Rusting rebar, weakening concrete, and eventually structural compromise. Repairing this kind of damage is extremely expensive and far more difficult than just installing joints in the first place. Expansion joints aren't just about temperature swings, though. They also play a role in dealing with Traffic load stress, because heavy vehicles cause micro-movements and vibrations, and wind, because strong gusts can actually sway longer bridges back and forth. They keep everything moving smoothly without breaking apart. Some of the most famous and technically advanced bridges in the world rely heavily on expansion joints to stay safe and functional. Take the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge in Japan, for example the longest suspension bridge on Earth. It features massive modular joints that can handle over a meter of movement, 
necessary in a region prone to earthquakes and temperature swings. The Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco also uses large finger joints to accommodate the dramatic expansion and contraction caused by fog, heat, and seismic activity. In France, the Milau Viaduct, the tallest bridge in the world, spans a deep valley and uses sliding and modular joints to manage vertical and horizontal shifts caused by temperature differences. The Orison Bridge, linking Denmark and Sweden, uses critical expansion joints to handle the complex movements between the bridge and its adjoining tunnel structure. And in California, the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge features some of the world's most advanced modular joints, engineered to absorb multi-directional seismic forces. In each of these engineering marvels, expansion joints may not be the most visible element, but they're absolutely vital in allowing these massive structures to move safely with their environment. Here's a fun twist. Expansion joints aren't just used in bridges. You'll also find them in skyscrapers, sidewalks, airport runways, stadiums. Basically, any large structure made of rigid materials needs a way to cope with movement. So next time you're walking through a big mall or crossing a city plaza, take a look down. You might spot a joint you never noticed before. While expansion joints might seem like simple pieces of metal, they're actually marvels of modern engineering. Every detail, from the way the plates mesh to the materials chosen, comes from decades of study, modeling, and real-world testing. Engineers have to consider not just how the bridge moves, but how that movement affects everything around it. That includes drainage, driving comfort, noise levels, and long-term durability. Some modern joints even come with built-in sensors, feeding real-time data to transportation departments so they can monitor movement, wear, and stress remotely. So the next time you drive over one of those loud, bumpy metal plates at the edge of a bridge, don't be annoyed, be impressed. That little clunk you feel under your tires? That's a crucial piece of infrastructure doing its job, quietly, constantly, keeping the bridge safe, the ride smooth, and the entire structure intact. In a world where we tend to notice only the big things, the towers, the steel cables, the sweeping views, expansion joints are a great reminder that the smallest parts can make the biggest difference. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.